On the 2nd of May 2016, at approximately 1600 hours local time in the Middle East, two technicians lost their lives when a section of a 36-inch gas export line they were working on fell from its temporary supports. The two men, a welder and a grinder, were completing a pipeline weld repair on a section of a 120-metre gas export pipeline. This video has been produced to communicate what went wrong and to help ensure that lessons are learned from this tragic accident. That day, permit-to-work procedures were rigorously applied to the known risks, but there was a lack of awareness of a number of hazards and the barriers which ultimately led to the incident. A curved 120-metre pipe was lifted and repositioned onto a number of pipe supports. This created a new hazard, in that the temporary suspended pipe now constituted a dynamic load and dropped object hazard. Repositioning the pipe also created flexing energy within the pipeline, which was then locked in through the use of chocks. This created the second new hazard, in that this stored energy, which was significant, could potentially be released should the pipe experience differential heating from the sun. After the pipe had been repositioned, a series of non-destructive testing NDT measurements were carried out to test each weld. It was during this process that an issue with the integrity of a weld was identified. The appropriate work permit was raised, risk assessment carried out, and two technicians, welder and grinder, were mobilised to the work site to carry out the remedial repairs. Meanwhile, infrared energy from the sun was heating one side of the 120 metre pipe, whilst the other side was in shade. This differential temperature effect was causing thermal expansion on the side of the pipe exposed to the sun and not on the other side. This locked even more energy in the pipe. This energy, combined with the flexing energy from moving the pipe, was being resisted through friction between the chocks and the surface of the supports. If the restraining capacity of the skids and chocks were exceeded, the stored energy would be released and rapid movement of the pipe could occur. So what went wrong? The pipe was wedged into position on the stack, which would store energy from pipe flex and thermal effects. The support stacks were unable to accommodate the pipe should it move. The pipe was bent off centre when being repositioned, which created flexing energy. The pipe was differentially heated by infrared energy from sunlight. And what key learnings can we share? For curved pipe, there are two types of temporary support, sand plugs and box supports. Note that chocks should not be used for curved pipe sections under any circumstances. This information is for 36 inch pipe. Supports must always be to the correct design and be of the correct dimensions for the pipe concern. Side boom cranes should support free pipe during welding activities. Before welding commences on the next section of pipe, a further sand plug must be installed. Supports must always be to the correct design and be of the correct dimensions for the pipe concerned. For welding on straight pipe strings, there are two different types of support. Box support with crutches and box support. It is important to note that for straight pipe, temporary supports should be configured as follows, with every fifth support being a box support with crutches. 
And finally, if at any time other hazards are identified, stop the job and reassess the risk. If things change, stop the job and reassess the risk. If you're unsure, stop the job and reassess the risk. Thank you for watching.